The Golden Boy is an award given to the best young player in Europe that year. Sometimes the Golden Boy winners live up to the hype and become football greats, but other times things go horribly wrong and they never fulfill their talent, so we're going to find out what happened to each of the 21 Golden Boy winners since the award was created. And if you roll back the clock to 2003, the first Golden Boy award was given to Raphael van der Vaart, who had broken into the Ajax first team at just 17 years old. This Dutch midfielder was exceptional talented and shined at Ajax, making 177 appearances and scoring 52 goals in the process. But injuries affected him from a young age, which saw him fall out of place at Ajax, meaning at 22 years old, he made the transfer to Hamburg in the Bundesliga, where he was able to regain his early Ajax form. This successful period in Germany saw Real Madrid scoop him up after three seasons, but his transfer was a crucial mistake, as it was the negative turning point in his career. He couldn't get any game time at Madrid, as he was competing with Kaká, who was easily the best player in the world at the time. So after two seasons, he made the move to Tottenham Hotspur, where he did well, but at the end of the day, it's only Spurs. He then returned to Hamburg, then Betis, then a couple Danish clubs, as he just kept falling lower and lower down the football ladder. In 2018, he finally retired, and it's safe to say he did not fulfill his Golden Boy expectations. But in 2004, the Golden Boy had a different outcome, as this was handed to Wayne Rooney who broke into the Everton first team with a goal against Arsenal at just 16 years old. In 2004, he signed for Manchester United, where it's fair to say he built a legacy. Rooney won five Premier Leagues, a Champions League, and six other major trophies throughout his career there. He also became Man United's all-time top goal scorer with 253 goals for the club. But he didn't just do it for United. He also held England's goal-scoring record with 53 until Harry Kane recently overtook him. At 31 years old, Rooney left United to go back to Everton and then to the MLS and finally hung up his boots, playing for Derby County in the championship. But if you think Rooney had a successful career, the 2005 Golden Boy blows him out of the water because this was Lionel Messi. Now, there's no doubt Messi lived up to exactly what the award represents because in 2004, Messi made his debut for Barcelona and over the next 17 years at the club, he built the greatest legacy a football club has ever seen. 672 goals in 778 appearances for Barcelona alone. He picked up 10 La Liga titles and four Champions League trophies at the club. After almost 20 years in Spain, Messi went to Paris to link up with Mbappe and Neymar for a couple of seasons, and now he's chilling in the MLS. Throughout his 20-year playing career, he's won the Ballon d'Or eight times, which is the most any player has ever won it. And to top it all off, in 2022, he finally led Argentina to a World Cup, which means he quite literally completed football. Now we're on to 2006, and a young, talented midfielder named Cesc Fabregas picks up this year's award. Fabregas was 19 years old and playing for Arsenal at the time, and at such a young age, he was already an outstanding midfielder for the Gunners. At just 21 years old, Fabregas was named Arsenal captain, but after eight years at Arsenal, he made the move back to his home country to play for Barcelona. At Barcelona, his talent was overshadowed by the likes of Xavi, Iniesta, and Busquets, so after three years back in Spain, he returned to the Premier League, but this time with Arsenal's rivals, Chelsea. That must have stung the Arsenal fans, but he made the right move as in just his first season back, he won the Premier League, registering 18 Premier League assists, which was something he never managed at Arsenal. In 2019, after almost 200 appearances for the club, Fabregas made the move to Monaco and eventually to Como in Italy as a player coach for a year until finally retiring in 2023. Now from one Premier League great to another, Sergio Aguero won the award in 2007. A young Aguero burst onto the scene playing for Independiente in Argentina. When Atletico Madrid caught wind of his talent, they snatched him up for £17 million, where he proved to be a great striker for the Spanish club. After scoring 100 goals in Spain, Sergio signed for Manchester City, where he really began to build a legacy. On the final day of his first Premier League season, he wrote his name in the history of English football by winning the Manchester City club their first ever Premier League in the 93rd minute. Balotelli. 
This goal was actually assisted by Balotelli, who also won the Golden Boy Award, but we'll get to that soon. Aguero would go on to score 260 goals in 390 appearances for Man City as he became their all-time top scorer, and after a decade at the club, he made the move to Barcelona, but that didn't last long as he was diagnosed with cardiac arrhythmia, forcing him to retire in 2021. But not all the Golden Boy winners go on to become club legends because in 2008, the Brazilian wonder kid Anderson won the award. But he definitely did not live up to the hype. Anderson signed for Manchester United in 2007 because Sir Alex Ferguson saw the talent the kid had. Anderson spent a total of eight years at Man United where he had a few highs and many lows. He struggled with injuries in his time and never really developed into the player that he could have been. In 2015, when Van Hal took charge of Manchester United, he decided not to offer Anderson a new contract, which saw him return to Brazil to finish off his disappointing career there. But in 2009, Anderson's Brazilian teammate Alexandre Pato picked up the award whilst playing for AC Milan. He had just signed for the Italian club from Internazionale, and in his first few seasons in Milan, he definitely showed that he was worthy of the Golden Boy status, but just as Pato was becoming one of the best players in Europe, injuries started to pile up, meaning from 2011 to 2013, he missed 59 games of football for Milan. Because of this, Milan decided to get rid of Pato, sending him back to Brazil to play for Corinthians. Since leaving Milan, Pato bounced around a a couple Brazilian clubs and even tried his luck in Europe once again, but he never managed to regain the form that he had in his younger years in Milan. But now the year is 2010, and the Golden Boy Award went to Mario Balotelli, who was a young Italian striker playing for Inter Milan. From the start of Balotelli's career, two things were clear. One, that he is extremely talented, and two, that he does whatever he wants. So at Inter, there were always problems of him not putting in enough effort into training, yet thanks to his talent, he still formed part of the 2010 treble winning side. He was then transferred to Manchester City, where he yet again had many discipline issues. In 2011, he picked up four red cards in a single season, but still won the league that year by assisting Aguero's famous 93rd minute winner. But his talent could only take him so far, and his attitude became so much of an issue that City had to sell him. After leaving Man City, he had spells in Italy, France, and even another shot in England with Liverpool, but he never managed to reach the heights that we thought he would. Now he finds himself playing in the Turkish league for Adana Demirspor. But Mario Gotze won the award in 2011, and despite scoring the most important goal in German history, he has not lived up to the talent that he had. Mario joined Borussia Dortmund at just eight years old, made it through the academy, and made his debut back in 2009. In his first two seasons with Dortmund, he helped them win back-to-back -back Bundesliga titles. In 2013, he reached the Champions League final, but was ultimately beat out by Bayern Munich, who then signed him that very same year. But Gutz's time at Bayern was not easy, as he struggled to find his starting spot and he was plagued with injuries. During his three years at Bayern, he only managed to make 73 appearances, but in this time, he managed to get fit for the World Cup, where he scored the last-minute winner in the final against Argentina, writing his name in the history of football. In 2016, Gutz had then returned to Dortmund and is now playing for Frankfurt, but he's only a shadow of the great player that we saw in him over a decade ago. But the next Golden Boy winner holds the record for the most Champion League trophies, and that would be Isco. He won the award in 2012 whilst playing for Malaga as they finished sixth in the league and reached a Champions League quarterfinal. In 2013, Real Madrid dropped 26 million pounds on Isco to bring him to the Bernabeu. Whilst Isco was extremely talented, he had to compete with the likes of Kroos, Modric, and James Rodriguez for the starting spot, meaning that his time on the pitch was limited. But despite not being a regular starter, he spent nine years at the club where he won five Champions League trophies, which is the record amount tied with a couple of his other Madrid teammates. Isco eventually left Madrid to go to Sevilla and now made his way to Real Betis, where he's enjoying his football. But for the biggest hero to zero on this list, we have the golden boy who was banned from football. Paul Pogba won the award in 2013 whilst playing for Juventus. Paul had joined Juventus in 2012 and over the next five years became one of the best midfielders in the world. This guy was simply unstoppable, winning the Serie A four times in a row. In 2016, Pogba made a world record transfer from Juventus to Manchester United, which would prove to be the start of the Paul Pogba downfall. In his first season at United, he won the Europa League, 
the Community Shield, and the Carabao Cup, but quickly fell out of love with the manager, Jose Mourinho. Pogba's time at United was very hit or miss as he would cycle in and out of form very frequently and also pick up several injuries, meaning he would miss large portions of the season. Despite Pogba's cyclical form for United, he did have an incredibly successful run with the French national team, winning the 2018 World Cup and even scoring a goal in the final. After six years of disappointing performances at Man United, he returned to Juventus hoping to turn his career around, but after a recent doping test, Pogba was found to have unusually high levels of testosterone, which saw the World Cup winner get banned from football for the next four years, making for a very disappointing end to what could have been a great career. Okay, now the year is 2014, and for the first time in over a decade, an English player won the award, and that was Raheem Sterling. At this time, he was playing for Liverpool and was almost crowned Premier League champion, but a Gerrard slip cost him the title. However, just a couple of years later, he would get that Premier League title, and more than just one, because in 2015, he signed for Manchester City for £50 million. Sterling spent the next eight years at City, where he played 339 matches, and scored a total of 131 goals, which sees him rank second on the all-time score list for City just behind Aguero. In 2019, Sterling was actually named as the PFA Player of the Year in the Premier League and also played a crucial role with the England national team, helping them reach the World Cup semi-final and the Euro final. In 2022, he was starting to lose his starting position at City, so he made the move to Chelsea, where he still is today, but he joined Chelsea just as they declined into a long period of bad form Form, meaning he probably made the wrong decision moving clubs when he did. But another player who made the wrong club choice is the 2015 Golden Boy winner, Anthony Martial. Martial was playing for Monaco in 2015 where he was lighting up the French league and was being hailed as the next Thierry Henry. This fine form saw Manchester United sign the young striker for £50 million. Life in Manchester started very well for Martial, scoring on his debut against Liverpool and finishing his season with 18 goals and an FA Cup winner's medal. But just like Pogba, Martial struggled to stay consistent at United, with his best season being in 2020, where he scored a total of 23 goals. But since then, he hasn't got close to that tally. In 2022, he was loaned out to Sevilla, where he still couldn't get his career back on track. Now, he's rotting away on the United bench, as his career has been wasted in Manchester. But the 2016 winner is one of the bigger disappointments on the list because this year's award was handed to Renato Sanchez off the back of an excellent season with Benfica and a Euros victory with Portugal. This kid was so good, he was getting compared to the likes of Nagolo Kante, which saw Bayern Munich sign the midfielder for £30 million, but his time at Bayern would be disappointing as he only made four appearances before being loaned out to the mighty Swansea. But Sanchez couldn't get up and running at Swansea either as he only played 12 games for the club. Bayern eventually sold him to Lille in 2019, where he was back to his best, winning the French League and dethroning PSG for the first time in 10 years. His form at Lille was the reason PSG came knocking as he signed for them in 2022, but his time in Paris was plagued with injuries, meaning he couldn't really settle in. This led to PSG loading him out to Roma to play under Jose Marie where he hasn't really lit up the Serie A either. But now, after a couple of misses in a row, the 2017 Golden Boy Award was most definitely a hit, as it was given to Kylian Mbappe. Mbappe put his name in the lights during the 16-17 season as Monaco blitzed the French League and reached the Champions League semi-finals thanks to impressive performances from Kylian. The year after, Mbappe moved from Monaco to Paris to link up with Neymar and Cavani to form a deadly attack. Since joining Paris, Mbappe has won every league title except the 2021 season, which Renato Sanchez had won with Lille. But Mbappe has done more than just win at a domestic level, he's also done it with the national team, winning the World Cup in 2018 with a goal in the final and then getting oh so close in 2022 with a final hat trick. Let me say that again, a World Cup final hat trick. But unfortunately, he lost that final to Lionel Messi's Argentina. But it's safe to say Kylian Mbappe has already lived up to his golden boy status. Now 2018, who won it? 
Matthias De Ligt playing for Ajax. This defender became the youngest player ever to play in a European Cup final at just 17 years old when he reached the Europa League final but ultimately lost it to Man United. He also became the first ever defender to win this award, showing the talent the kid has. In 2019, De Ligt helped Ajax reach the Champions League semi-final in a historic Champions League run from the Dutch club. That same year, he signed for Juventus for £65 million and won the Serie A in his first season in Italy, although he then struggled to keep his form up the following years in Italy. In 2022, Matthias moved from Juventus to Bayern Munich and won the league in his first season at the club, and that's where he still is playing today. But the 2019 Golden Boy Award was given to Joao Felix whilst he was playing for Benfica. Felix announced himself to the world with a hat-trick against Frankfurt in the Europa League, becoming the youngest ever player to do this. His stellar performances at Benfica caused Atletico Madrid to pull the trigger and drop £113 million on the Portuguese attacker, but this move was probably a mistake for Felix. A talented attacker moving to a very defensive side didn't seem like the right fit. His time at Atletico hasn't been awful, but he hasn't really lived up to the price tag either. In January 2023, he was loaned out to Chelsea, where he got a red card on his debut and didn't perform much during his time in London. Now, he's loaned out to Barcelona, and it's the same story because he's not really lighting up La Liga there either, meaning things aren't looking good for Joao. But a player who things definitely are looking good for is Erling Haaland who was crowned the Golden Boy in 2020. This kid was just born to score goals. In the 2019-20 season, he broke into the world of football, playing for RB Salzburg, where he scored eight goals in six matches in the Champions League group stages. This fine form saw all of Europe battle for his signature, but he chose to sign for Borussia Dortmund, where he spent two and a half years and scored 86 goals in 89 appearances, putting up stats that very few players had ever done at his age. The only player I can think of is the great Ronaldo Nazario with stats like that at such a young age. In 2022, he took the step up from the Bundesliga to the Premier League and signed for Man City, where in just his first season, he smashed the Premier League goal-scoring record with 36 goals. He also led Man City to the treble, which made them only the second English club to ever do it. Now Holland is already one of the greatest strikers in football history at still such a young age. But from attacker to midfielder, the 2021 Golden Boy Award was handed to Pedri Gonzalez, who joined Barcelona at just 16 years of age. In 2020, Pedri became the second youngest player to make 50 appearances for Barcelona, doing this at just 18 years of age. During Pedri's short time at Barcelona, he's already picked up three major trophies, including a La Liga title. He's also getting lots of game time with the national team, even picking up the Young Player of the Tournament award in the Euros. This kid looks like he's going to be the next Andres Iniesta for Barcelona. But Iniesta also always had his partner in crime, Xavi, who Pedri definitely has with Xavi, who was handed the 2022 Golden Boy Award. Xavi joined Barcelona at just 11 years of age and made his way through the ranks of the academy before finally breaking into the first team in the 22-23 season, which saw Barcelona lift the league title. Xavi's first piece of silverware came in a 3-1 win over Real Madrid in the Spanish Super Cup, where he was named as the man of the match. Xavi has also represented Spain in the 2022 World Cup, where he became the third youngest goal scorer in the tournament's history and even lifted the Nations League with Spain in 2023. But now, for the current Golden Boy winner who just won the award at the end of 2023, we have Jude Bellingham. Bellingham announced himself to the world in 2020, making his debut for Birmingham City at just 16 years old, becoming their youngest ever player. That season, he made 44 appearances and played a significant role in that team, which alerted the bigger teams in Europe of his talent. So at just 17 years old, Bellingham packed his bags and moved to Germany to play for Borussia Dortmund. His time in Germany was exceptional, becoming one of their best players and even captaining the side on occasion. Bellingham has become a 
regular in the England national team as he's already played in the Euros and the World Cup, making it to the final and semi-final. After three strong years in Germany, Real Madrid came and dropped £90 million to sign the English midfielder, which is where he's at today. His start to life in Madrid has been electric as he's already become arguably their best player and arguably the best player in the entire world. But still 20 years old, Bellingham definitely has a bright future ahead of him. But if you want to learn more about Jude Bellingham, like his insane beef with the referees in Germany, you have to watch this video now. And if you don't care about Bellingham, don't worry, you can watch this other video instead. I'm sure you'll like it.